The traditional method for intracranial monitoring in North America has been uh, the implantation of subdural uh, electrodes for brain reporting through a craniotomy. Stereo electroencephalography, or SEEG, uh, stereo EEG, is a little bit different. So it gives us uh, similar information to what can be obtained with intracranial monitoring through subdural electrodes. Electrodes are implanted percutaneously through the skin and they rest in skull-mounted anchor bolts. They don't require a formal craniotomy and they can access deeper areas of the brain um, that are not accessible by the surface electrodes that we would typically use. SEEG has advantages over craniotomy for patients where the suspected seizure focus is uh, not on the lateral brain surface, but deeper in the brain, uh, areas where those subdural electrodes can't reach. Um, it's also more comfortable for patients, and it allows us to uh, assay kind of wider areas of the brain um, than we might typically be able to get with the subdural method. Responsive neurostimulation is an implanted closed loop brain simulation device that was approved by the FDA. And it is indicated for patients who don't have a single seizure focus that can be resected, which is the only chance for a cure of epilepsy. There are electrodes implanted at the site of seizure onset uh, that can both record and stimulate. So when a seizure is detected, the system automatically kicks in um, a pulse of electrical activity to disrupt uh, seizure spread. And although this does not stop seizures uh, in patients, it can dramatically reduce the number of seizures they have and it can significantly improve their quality of life. In uh, relation to just 10 years ago, we have methods now that are significantly more advanced for detecting the seizure focus in a non-invasive manner, but also if invasive recording is required through either craniotomy with subdural strip electrodes or through intracranial monitoring with stereo EEG. And these are both um, low complication, relatively low risk procedures that if the seizure focus is identified can stand to improve the quality of life for patients with epilepsy quite dramatically.